Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Baking Steel by, I can never get this name right, but it's Stoke Tone Steel. And uh, I decided to get the half inch slab, which frankly I think it's a little too thick. This one weighs at about 30 pounds. The color of it kind of got dark after a first use of it. So this is how it looks like after I use it for one time. Let me show you in a second how it looked like when it was new. I just took a picture of it. And uh, that's it. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to preheat the oven for about an hour. After that, I'm going to bake a pizza. I'm going to show you the results. And I'm going to talk about the pluses and minus of owning one of these baking steels. And uh, there's some pluses, there's some minuses. We'll talk about it. You'll see. All right, so I'm going to start the timer here so we can see exactly how long this is going to take to bake. And uh, this is the pizza right there. And I'm going to start the timer. And hopefully it goes up nice and well. We're at the five minutes mark. I'm going to check on it. I think it's ready. Right, so here's the pizza. Let me show you the bottom. Nice and blackened in some spots, which is pretty nice. All right, and now we're gonna try another pizza. We're gonna try this bread pizza with just goat cheese and some spinach. We'll see how it goes. Put the start timer. Okay, so it's been for this pizza six minutes and let's uh, take it out. go that's the pizza how it looks from the outside it's the bottom and uh, okay this is what I use to measure if um, if I think the, the product is good or not or not if I had to do it again would I buy it again the answer is no I think that the baking stone especially the, the last two that I had gave really better quality pizza and more consistently so for that sense of purpose I would say no I would get a real stone and I, I'll, I'm gonna link down to what I think is a good baking stone okay so let me conclude this video really there, there's only really one plus to this baking steel this one will last you forever period on the other hand, it has a lot of minuses. Uh, the pizza that I've gotten from this baking steel is far inferior, in my opinion, to my taste buds than to the baking stone that I have and previously had. And so um, that's a negative. It's also very, very heavy. This one is at 30 pounds. It takes forever to heat up. It takes over an hour to get it to temperature and it takes hours and hours for it to cool down. So you can't really move it outside of the oven for for a long time so basically your oven is used up you can't use your oven there is one plus to it is that it's easy to clean uh, when something spills on it it's really easy to scrape it off after it dries off but as far as making good pizza I really think that I'm getting better much better not better but much better results with a baking stone that the last one I had I had for over six years great results the new one that I just got is even better I think than the old one and uh, this one I think just doesn't give me the results that I want if you do decide to get the baking steel anyway uh, I found that putting it in this level not the lowest level but in this level and not higher than that is the best position to get the best results and the reason is because 
if you put it lower, then the uh, top level doesn't bake fast enough with the broiler on. And if you put it higher, the broiler is too hot for it to cook. All right, if you have any questions, comments, you know, you know what to do, put it in the comment box down below. Please, please thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day.